This is the new updated Utopia Carbon 1S. So the difference with the 1S model is they fixed that problem with it just being a single speed. The other model, the Carbon 1 that I've covered, just has a carbon belt drivetrain, which is good for 30,000 kilometers, but it has a big con to it, and that is that it has no gears. This model does now have the gears. So we've got seven speeds here from Shimano. It still is 15 kilos. We have the 9.8 amp hour battery located in the frame here. It's locked into place. It is removable, good for up to 100 kilometers, the range they claim. Tektro brakes, 160 millimeters. These are hydraulic and we do have the same screen here. So fingerprint reader, the GPS app, the connectivity that it does have that you can even geofence this and you can locate where the bike is. All of that stuff is exactly the same as the Carbon 1. It really is just the gears that are the change with this model here. Now the rear hub motor, this is 250 watts with the EU version that I'm covering here in this video. And the US version, the rear motor is 350 watts. The bike does not come with this kickstand. This is something I've installed myself because it's so annoying to be able to take shots and whatnot and film a video without having a stand. So one's not included in the box. Now the pedals are included. These are plastic pedals from Walgo. There's nothing wrong with them. They seem to do the job and it's all about keeping the weight down. That's probably why they did go with plastic. Now the bike is using a torque sensor, not a speed sensor. So the power delivery is very good, very fast and it cuts out straight away too when you don't need it. You notice here that I don't have any mudguards with the bike, but yes, you can get mudguards for it. I believe they're on their website. So I have been riding with a little bit of water on the ground, and of course that went all over me without having any mudguards. Now the battery that's located in the frame right here in the middle, it's locked into place. You get two keys, and it's a 9.8 amp hour battery, and it is uh, using Samsung cells, which is good, proper brand cells. Gear selector is located here on the right and it works well, no problems with it. This is our fingerprint reader, power on button and the screen. You'll see that at the moment it's kind of shimmering away. This is just on camera. So I've got my speed, battery life, pedal assist level. So we've got zero off, one, two and three. And if you keep holding up, that puts it into the turbo mode. Top performance there. And then we have the controls left and right for the indicators, which really you can only see at night and they'll tick in away the whole time the turn signals until you tap it again to turn them off so the annoying thing about this here is the noises it makes but the good news is with the application you can turn either the volume down or just mute it and it does have a haptic motor in here too so it does vibrate you can feel that now holding this down you've got the ai with this you can issue it commands so right now i want to turn it off so i press and hold this turn off Power off. See you. Okay, it said see you and it's turning itself off. You can also tell it to turn the lights on and there's various other different commands. Another warm, beautiful day here in the Mediterranean coast in Spain to test out e-bikes. So the Carbon 1S now with the seven speeds, that's really the only major difference the only noticeable difference here now the bike is still basically the same the ride the same so my seat is pretty high it's in the lowest position with the l frame and i'm 182 83 centimeters i think off the top of my head tall and it works out just fine for me on the lowest position now i'm in a not quite an upright riding position i'm linked down just a little bit as i ride so the pedal assist levels we have three of them and the turbo, so basically like four in total. It makes those funny noises when you select them. Now the torque sensor, very good. As Soon as you start to pedal, it detects that. It gives you that power straight away. Power delivery is nice and smooth. The motor, well there's a bit of traffic at the moment. So we're not really gonna hear much of that motor. Maybe along here, so when I start to pedal, you can yeah, you can hear it just. It's not a loud motor at all. Now it will aid us and assist us up to 25 kilometers per hour with this EU version and anything over that, that's all your own pedal power, of which I've got a top speed in the highest gear here of about 32, 33 kilometers per hour. 
So the climbing performance is a lot better because the Carbon One just has the single speed with the belt drive and of course now I've got seven. And climbing up this in the turbo mode or in number three is fine. And you can feel that torque sensor helping. In the turbo mode, it does climb the best. But with the gears now, this is just so much better. So I can put it into the lowest gear here and just cruise up this. Actually, I'm in the second gear now at the moment. And this is very good. So much better than the previous model. Braking test now. So from the white post, emergency brake, 30 kilometers per hour. All right, makes it to the post. Right here, this column. Good braking performance out of the hydraulic Tektro brakes, 160 millimeter. No complaints at all. They are good. And let me briefly show you the application. So it is called Utopia and you can get this for Android and iOS. So when you first load it up, it's going to show you your riding stats here. And that is a total of all my rides with this application and not necessarily with this bike here. I definitely have not done 148 kilometers with it. You can see the previous rides on the homepage here, so it'll load those in. So a lot of them are quite short because I was turning the bike on and off, of course, as I was filming and recording this video. I can click on more here and see a lot of the history. You can see some longer ones there in September 29th. And there's a few, quite a few different rides that I do have all covered there in the history. So the bike itself or the options, you need to tap what looks like a little shield logo there, icon, and then connect it up with Bluetooth. So you can see then the bike, the information of it, the volume of the speaker. The good thing is you can mute that if you don't want to have to listen to those sound effects all the time, like I'll just demonstrate it now. I think those do sound quite childish, so I will personally be muting that later on. And if you get out of that, you can then change a few other things. So the lights, the alarm mode uh, to beep. So if you want to hear where the bike is or just, I don't know, why you want to turn that on, but you can. And it keeps beeping like that. So you've got volume, vibration, sounds. You can go and customize that too if you wanted to. Sp speaker, so you can connect up your own phone to this when you're riding. And because it's got a built-in microphone, you can have conversations through the, the speaker and the mic on the bike. Fingerprint reader, set that up. Advanced, you've got a few options here. So the expansion screen, instead of left and right turn signals, it'll show you information like the weather, signal strength of the bike, and some stats of your ride, like calories burned, distance, and all that sort of stuff. But it, by default, it is off the expansion screen. You've got auto light on, firmware updates, uh, geofence there, connect, deactivate. The range really has not changed a lot from the original Carbon One, but it is a little bit more efficient now in the climbs because you can put it into a lower gear, help that motor out so it's not burning through that battery as much. So if you've got a lot of climbs around, you'll notice a bit of a difference if you did have the original model, not that you would probably be changing or upgrading because they're really the same exact bike here. So my range is around 70 to 80 kilometers that I can get from a full charge of the 9.8 amp hour battery. So the pros for this bike are definitely its weight. For an e-bike, this is quite light at only 15 kilos. That is excellent. We do have decent tires here from Kenda, the K-West tires. At least they didn't cheap out completely on the tires or anything like that. Comfortable seat post, good night lighting with it. The brake performance from Tektro, those 160 millimeter brakes I do find work well and I have no complaints with them at all. The shifts from the Shimano gears here are all fine. There's no issues with the Duralia being out of alignment or anything like that. And then you've got the GPS and all that good stuff that is built into it. Now I do find the noises a little annoying but you can at least with the application mute that which is one positive there. You've got the fingerprint scanner reader there too as well and you can even geofence it and locate where the bike is. The cons of it well, it's the price. It is an expensive bike. This is, at the time of this video, they've dropped the price down a little bit with a sale, but it's currently around about 2,700 euros. Very pricey, but yes, it's a carbon fiber bike, so you are gonna be paying extra for that. The other is because of the connectivity with the 4G modem that's built into this and the GPS, and it's constantly transmitting its signal connecting to servers and whatnot, it will eventually drain that battery out. And this is my original complaint 
of the original model that I did review, the Carbon One, is that if you're not even using the bike for say two weeks or something, you'll come back to a probably a flat battery. So you'd need to actually remove the battery completely if you're going to not be using the bike for a while. That's uh, one of the downsides to it. Otherwise, it is a very nice bike. It looks great, the style of it, very modern, rides really well, smooth fast ride and if you live in a flat area and you've got no climbs like you're somewhere like in Amsterdam I would go for the belt drive version because then you're going to have no maintenance it's good for 30,000 kilometers this you have chain maintenance the chain to oil and everything like that but if you do have some climbs around it is of course the model to get now that it has those seven gears and not just the single speed so thank you so much for watching this review of the Utopia Carbon 1S